Welcome to day 278 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornelson here, and we are focusing on communication growth for the month, this month. I want to say October because it's October, but whenever you're listening, it doesn't matter. You can hop into the challenge and join anytime, and then just keep going with last year's or the earlier part of this year's videos and just finish up when you finish up. Now, it'll be a little off because we're going to do the end of the year things over the next couple of months, but it would still be fine and it'll still benefit you tremendously to do one thing every day to grow. So today's topic for communication growth is modes of conver conversation. Well, conversations, yes, but that's just one mode. Modes of communication. Modes of communication are the different forms that communication can take uh, and we want to make sure that we are pretty adept in all of them, but we will find that we have one preferred way of communicating. So our action item today is to share your favorite mode of communication, and I'm going to talk about them quickly here so you've got a brief overview. Remember, we've got Lawrence's story and guide to the Let's Throw Annual Challenge private Facebook group page. You can always go through his story and how he discovered and use the different modes of communication in order to enhance his life. Because we all want to make our lives better, right? I don't know anybody that wakes up in the morning and says, hey man, I want to make my day as miserable as it can possibly be. Let's get up and go. Not so much. So what are these different modes of communication? I'm just going to briefly touch on five different types. And of course, there's, there's, there's thousands, if not millions of ways of communicating that will fall under one of these five categories. First and foremost, of course, is our verbal communication, our talking, our conversations, our spoken word, uh, and all the different ways, shapes, and forms that can come up. It might be in a video, which is kind of a combination of different modes of communication. It might come up in a telephone conversation. It might come up in a, we're going to talk about written, that would be uh, a text message. But Verbal communication is the one we're most familiar with. Why? Because it's the first thing we learn. The first thing we learn is to observe and and vocalize and talk as children and babies. So verbal communication is the first one. Second is nonverbal communication. Our facial expressions, our, uh, our body language. How are we sitting? Are we sitting up straight with posture and confidence? Or are we slouched over and very depressed looking and sad? Hopefully not. It's morning. Every new day is a great chance to just create the life that you want. So verbal, nonverbal. Nonverbal is body language, tone of voice, the words that you choose to use and express different messages, your intent, uh, your, ge your gestures, your hand gestures, your laugh, your smile, your eyes, your everything about your face. It's been really fun to watch the, uh, actually after the debates, I watched the debates, both the presidential and the vice presidential, and then the, the body language analysis afterwards, I've just found fascinating. Uh, third type of, or third mode of communication is, of course, written communication. We write things down all the time, right? Oh my gosh, look how bad my book is so far for this year. <laughs> it totally was coming unbound and falling apart. And I wanted to try to use it for the whole year so I can condense things. Uh, so anything written down, reports, emails, text messages, uh, whether they're created by you or by chatbots, you are working on your communication, so a chatbot isn't really the way to do it. Uh, so anything written down, magazines, messages, uh, reports, special reports, books. I consider books written communication, right? Of course, it's one-way communication unless you interact with the author or some other platform. Our fourth mode of communication is visual. So any kind of visual aids, like posters that we like and get a kick out of, uh, are considered visual communication, graphics, pictures, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? So, so true. Because every one of us that look at a picture will see something different and get a different, uh, and have a different take and perspective on it based on our own personal thoughts, beliefs, feelings, core values, experiences, etc. cetera. Uh, and finally, our fifth one is the newest on the list and that's digital communication. And that mode of communication, because there's so much social media and there's so much media that's bombarding us every day and the digital world and the platforms that are available are just exploding uh, every year for sure, but pretty much on a daily basis, there's hundreds or thousands of new apps, hundreds or thousands of new uh, platforms that are popping up all the time. <clears throat> so the growing release of digital platforms and products that we can use to communicate with people is, is Jesus, the potential is almost limitless. So 
Of these five modes of communication, <clears throat> verbal, nonverbal, written, visual, and digital, what is your personal favorite? What do you find yourself consuming the most or participating in the most share in the comments below and then share why why do you use or why do you number one why is that your favorite and number two why do you use it and why and how did it become and how long has it been your favorite i'm just curious all right my favorite would probably be um i don't know I, i'm legally blind but i'm a very visual person which is a, a huge uh interesting pivot to my life uh so visual, I'm first attracted to the visual and then the verbal and then, well, then probably written and then verbal. I don't know. I don't know what my order is. I'm going to have to think about this one today too. Uh, but I would say probably visual is my own personal favorite, although it's becoming my most challenging, if that's fair. Why? Because I'm legally blind. All right. That's my favorite and my why. Share yours in the comments below so we can learn from one another. And I will be with you tomorrow with another communication growth topic and how we can take action on that today. Well, tomorrow for that one. Today's today. Tomorrow's tomorrow. Uh, in order to grow in this area. Any questions? You can always hit me up. You can always ask. I'm here. I'm on the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page. I am all over the digital world. I guess digital is probably where I actually show up the most. All right. Have an awesome day and I'll of course see you tomorrow.